Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Cerex EX3 Bones here on our 2016 Toyota Highlander. This is a trunk style bike rack which means that it is mounted to your hatch or to your trunk on your vehicle. Here on our Highlander we have it mounted to our hatch which is great because this works with spoilers. So our Highlander has a little bit of a spoiler on the top so we can see how the straps fit over the top and don't interfere with that spoiler. This has a 35 pound weight capacity. As you can see, we have our bike mounted onto the bike rack and there are three points of contact. We have two straps here on the top tube and then we have a strap down here that works as our anti-sway cradle. So when you wanna take off your bike, you just press that lever on that cradle and then release the strap. You can see here how there's so much more sway with that release and then go towards your top. Once you've released the bike from the cradle, so you can then just lift up and then bring it through and you are ready to go on your bike ride. Taking a closer look at the straps themselves, I really like how they've designed the inside of the strap. They have sort of like a vertebrae style to match the bones theme and that just ratchets down to secure your bike's frame. When you are driving around with your bike rack on your vehicle, even if you don't have your bike on it, I recommend just putting those straps together and just ratcheting them down. That way they're not flopping around as you drive around. You do have some contact with the back of your vehicle. Let's take a look at where those points of contacts are. So we have the two feet on the bottom. So you place them right around your license plate and then you have three different straps. So your top two, which is the upper and the side straps, you replace with the hatch huggers because you do have a hatch on the Highlander and then you maintain the hooks on the bottom. The top two feet are placed on your window somewhere below your spoiler. Just make sure that they are not in contact with the spoiler and that you have enough space for the upper strap to run up and across and fit through the top of your hatch. Some notes as you install it is just to make sure that your hatch is clean. I like to just wipe things down with some soap and water and a towel. Also make sure that your glass is clean. That way when you do put this on top of it, you're not creating any extra scratches caused by contact of dirt with the bike rack. With this installed, please don't open your hatch as well as avoid using your rear windshield wiper since that will come in contact with that bike rack. Now the Bones EX3 is adjustable when it does come to these arms. I have it in this position and let's take a measurement to see how much length it adds to the back of our vehicle. So measuring from our rear bumper all the way to the end of the bike rack, which is right there, it sits at about 26 inches, which is really good for a three bike rack, but it is a trunk mounted style. So just keep that in mind when you are backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. These arms can be lowered, so you're gonna have these knobs at the top that are rotated to release the arms. You then push them towards the inside and that allows them to drop down to where you need them to be. And then you put them back into their grooves to hold them in place. With it folded down like this, let's take some more measurements. So measuring from our bumper to the end of the bike rack, which is by the end of these straps, we have it at 12 inches. Big difference compared to when they were folded out. If you're gonna have your trunk mounted bike rack on real quick, you can have this in this position as you drive around. If you are gonna be driving around for a long period of time and you don't want to be carrying your bikes, I recommend just taking the whole bike rack off, but this is still a nice portable position. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement.
my final thoughts about this bike rack is I am a big fan of the Saris Bone series because of how versatile they are. They do work with most vehicles, especially those with spoilers since those are the hardest ones to work around with. So if you do not have a hitch or you cannot install a hitch onto your Highlander, this is a great option to get if you are interested in carrying around your bikes. And that was a look here at our Saris Bones EX3 trunk mounted bike rack here on our 2016 Toyota Highlander.